This video was brought to you by Artify Art Supplies. Hello everybody, my name is Vanilla and I am back again with another video. And as you may have read the title, you guessed it. It is another marker review. As you may have heard their name in the beginning, Artify has kindly gifted me their set of 108 brush markers to review. My initial thoughts of this is that it is very very cute like it comes in this really cute carrying case and it's quite sturdy as well the markers lay perfectly on their side which i think i am going to do for display the markers do come with a brush tip and a chisel nib the barrel of this is triangular so it is very hard for it to like eat off of your desk which is quite good feels good to grip as well i will get straight into the details of this markers and also do some swatching for you so i'll go ahead and do that so this set of 108 artified brush markers comes at around 95.99 on the canadian amazon site and is on sale for $79.99 on their personal site at the time of recording this. On either site, this brings an individual marker to less than a dollar per marker, and I consider that a very, very bargain deal, considering the fact that I am a Copic main. Um, I'll put more examples of my Copic works maybe later, but I am a Copic main, and those cost like five to eight bucks per marker. So I'm flat broke. <laughs> Artify also has fine tip sets on their site as well as smaller brush tip sets to fit your needs. What I was happy about was the actual brush tip of this set and Artify does promote their um, sturdy brush tip which I did feel while I was doing the swatching and the actual coloring and yeah it was really good for the kind of budget marker that you are getting as a lot of budget companies don't usually provide brush tips and I was, yeah, I was very stoked that there was a brush tip for this set and out of all 108 colors, I did not stumble across an empty marker and the colors were very juicy and vibrant and yes, I loved it. Here is the completed swatch sheet. I also went ahead and swatched some of the markers and tested a little bit of its blending on my trusty little sacrilegious sketchbook. The colors are quite vibrant as per usual, like with a lot of the cheaper alternatives to really expensive marker sets. They do have quite the range of lighter colors, so they have a few pastel blues and yellows and pinks out there. That really made me excited because I tend to use a lot of that when um, using them as like a buffer color. I don't know like the professional term for that but you'll see what I mean when I do start coloring. From what I could see the colors look quite promising and also if you can't tell I also went ahead and removed the lid of this case and put the markers down. The case is able to like flip onto its side even with the lid on. I just prefer it off and if you guys uh, prefer the same, uh, please do be careful. The lid is plastic and could fly right into your face. But yes, these colors do look very, very promising. And with this wide range of colors, it brings me straight into the idea that I had for this video. This is my sketchbook and normally during videos like this, you would already see a finished lined piece like on the sketchbook that I printed out. But for this video, I thought, hey, why not switch it up a bit? I recently drew like little chibi headshots of all of the OCs I've had so far. Well, maybe not all of them, but all of the ones that I have drawn more than once. I decided with all the colors in this set, I could probably put all my OCs in a random generator and show my irrelevant OCs some love by actually drawing them out and coloring them with budget markers. Let's go. The OC that I got was Ray, and I kind of did cheat a little bit while spinning because I did get some characters that you may see a lot or you've already seen on this channel before. So I decided to switch it up a bit and make this character a little bit more irrelevant, so Ray it is. <laughs> First, I'm going to very quickly do a sketch and line it of Ray, and then I will go ahead and color it. Mm -hmm. 
So before I talk about the pros and cons of these markers, I'm going to talk a little bit about Ray. Ray is my Fox Demon OC and he is uh, Exenus's little brother. I'm not sure if he's been shown on this channel before, but that is another Fox OC of mine. Ray is a prince of the Fox Kingdom in my story and his personality is a little bit more energetic and bubbly. Um, his kind of trope is like the demon who essentially lives under a rock. Well, he literally lives underground, so I mean, anyways. Um, he lives under a rock and does not know how to act like a quote-unquote human or a normal functioning guy in society. Um, instead, he's just like a little bit of like that kind of demon airhead. So yeah, that's his trope in the story. Or actually like in my OC universe. But yeah, in his color palette, um, it has a lot of warm tones like reds, yellows, and oranges. Um, aside from like the little dark green blue aspects that I put on him to complement his older brother, who has more of the colder tones, like the blues and the whites, and a little hint of orange to, us again, compliment his younger brother. Also, um, I did mention that this guy was a fox demon. He does have multiple tails, I just did not draw them because, to be honest, I was too lazy to um, draw them, and I don't really know how to like color tails or like I'm not really comfortable with it per se so I just left it out of this piece let's just pretend that like they're just hanging low also a quick apology for the poppiness of the mic I'm using a budget mic as well as budget markers so budget everything for this video or at least all of my videos actually so now moving on to the pros of these markers, um, here are some examples of how I usually perform with my Copics, the marker medium that I'm most comfortable with. And if you couldn't tell already, um, it's strikingly similar to how I performed with these markers, which I'm very very surprised with. The absolute variation of this set when it came to mostly vibrant but thanks to the lighter and kind of muted colors in this set I was able to actually accomplish like the hardcore coloring that I usually do and it was quite fun um, the brush tip did feel very sturdy and the markers also felt very juicy and was very easy to blend with so props to Artify for having those on check. And alongside all of those pros comes with the added budget aspect of these markers. They come at, again, less than a dollar per marker and they have smaller sets for even cheaper. So I am so stoked to tell you guys that I do have some links for you to provide an additional 15% off. They are in my description or you could use code ARTIFYDC-15% off for 15% off on their website. You could also check the links in my description and my description in general for more details about this. As for the cons of these markers, they do tend to feather out just a bit when you layer a bit too much. I did layer a lot and it did feather a bit, so I just want to let you guys know about that. The brushes did show a little sign of fraying, but that is a given when it comes to budget markers. And also, just like any other alcohol-based marker, these do bleed a lot, so just make sure to put a piece of paper behind the piece that you're working on. Overall, I am very, very happy with the quality and the performance of these Artify markers, and you really do get a good quality for the price that you pay. Here is the completed piece. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and thank you for making it this far if you have. Again, if you guys are interested in trying these markers out for yourself, 
please do check those links in the description or use code ARTIFYDC-15% off for 15% off on any order that you make on their site. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and maybe that notification bell. I post once every blue moon and yeah, even if you don't want to subscribe, please hit that like button maybe. I don't know, maybe. I don't. Yeah, okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.